Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm a product specialist for broadcast and cinematography cameras at Sony Europe. This video is to show you how to prepare your camera for a firmware update. This is a PMW 400. To firmware update it, I need an SBIS card that is FAT formatted. Normally I go in UDL mode, but for the firmware update, I need to put the binary file onto the SBIS card on the computer. Before I can do that, it has to be in FAT format. Formatting the card can be done by a computer. I prefer using the camera, which is just as fast. Normally, I go into the camera, activate the menu, into formats, and change the file system to FAT mode. Press execute. The camera has rebooted. Go back into the menu, format the media, and press execute. The card is now FAT formatted and I can now put the card directly into the computer and add the binary file. I've got the binary file on my computer. If you didn't do that already, check out the video in the corner and I'll show you how to get there. The binary file is a zip file when you download it, so you need to unpack it first. Once it's unpacked, you take the binary file directly and hold it down and put it down on your SBIS card. You let it go and copy it over. Once it's copied, you can see it on your root file of your SBIS card. Remember to use a power supply when firmware updating your camera. If an accident happens during a firmware update, you have to send the camera back to a Sony center to reinstall the whole new software. The camera and card is now ready for a firmware update. So now we can take the card back into the camera. I go into the menu, down to maintenance, version, and version up. Press execute, connect to the power to DC. We already done that. And upgrade to version 1.31. The tally light is on during the whole firmware update. Once it starts flashing, it's ready for a reboot. After the reboot, I can go back into the maintenance menu, scroll down to the bottom, go into version, and confirm that I'm now on the newest firmware. If you've done everything correctly, the PMW 400 should now be up to date. This new firmware enables XAVC recording internally in the camera. Click on one of the videos to learn more about XAVC.